Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. A few weeks ago, I got an email from a company that I've never heard of before, and they told me that they wanted to send us a wireless, 10 keyless, illuminated mechanical keyboard with brown switches that costs 40 US dollars. How could I say no to that? It had to be a catch, right? Well, we're about to find out. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure you're subscribed. Philosophia sent us one of their TKL02 wireless 10 keyless mechanical keyboards that uses Otomu MX brown switches. Spoiler alert, you're in for a bit of a surprise. Let's check it out. I'll be honest, I'd never heard of Velocify when they emailed us. The first thing I do before applying is usually take a look at these companies' websites. When I looked at their whole product stack on their website and the cost of the keyboards, I immediately responded with a big fat yes. Let's take a look at what's in the box. In the box, you get a USB Type A to Type C cable to charge the keyboard, a 2.4 gigahertz wireless USB dongle, and a keycap removal tool. What more could you possibly need? The TKL02 keyboard comes in only a single version. However, they have other models that are quite similar, but for this video, we're only gonna be focusing on the TKL02. This keyboard is geared towards programmers and people who typically do a lot of typing as opposed to people who want it specifically for gaming. However, it's fine for gaming as well. The construction is really solid and it has zero deck flex. It's got kickstands for the tilt adjustment and the whole unit weighs around one kilogram or 2.2 pounds. The keyboard has a pretty traditional mechanical keyboard design with the keys being inset rather than a floating keycap like the last few keyboards that we covered on the channel. For me personally, whether or not they're floating, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me. One of the things you'll notice with cheaper keyboards like this one and things that they traditionally have are pretty odd fonts. And yeah, sometimes they can be pretty hard to read. This isn't the case with the TKL02. It features double shot ABS plastic keycaps with laser edge characters that are super easy to read. Speaking of the keys, the whole keyboard is illuminated in white and there's no RGB, which isn't a bad thing. I'm okay with that. The lack of RGB kind of suits the aesthetic and the style of this keyboard. There isn't any dimming with the lighting, however you can turn the illumination either on or off by pressing a key combination. If you leave the keyboard idle, it turns off the lighting and it turns off the keyboard itself to preserve power after about a minute or so. The switches used are Otomo Brown MX switches, which have a very similar feel to Cherry MX Brown. However, they're slightly heavier, but overall, I think they feel pretty similar to the Cherry switches. I like how they feel. I think Velocify did a really good job with choosing these switches. The keyboard has a USB Type-C port to charge the keyboard and can also be used as a wired keyboard as well. Speaking of being wireless, the keyboard has an internal 1850 milliamp hour lithium battery with a pretty impressive battery life. The space bar will show the charge and the battery status while it's plugged in and charging. Red means it's charging and white means that the keyboard is fully charged. The maximum wireless range of the keyboard is approximately eight meters as well. There are no physical media keys. However, the function keys along with the key combo can be used to control all of your media. The keyboard doesn't require any software whatsoever, and that to me is one of the best features of this keyboard. I feel like this keyboard is great for software developers who don't use numpads, minimalists who don't want wires on their desks, or someone like me that types a lot. It's fine for gaming, but like I said before, it's better for general use and productivity, although the lack of the numpad might be a bit of a deal breaker for some people. Could I personally use this keyboard every day? Well. I think it depends on what I'm doing. If it's script writing, I think it's pretty good for that and it feels great and I could quite easily use it daily for writing scripts. Like all of our keyboard videos, I write the script on the keyboard that I'm talking about and the TKL02 is no exception. However, if I'm video editing, I don't think I could use this keyboard every day because it doesn't have a numpad. Overall, I think the Velocify TKL02 is a good wireless keyboard. I was actually pretty surprised at how much you get for so little money. It ticks all of the boxes with the things that make a keyboard nice. For 40 US dollars, I think you're getting quite a bit for your money. It's got decent brown key switches, it's got great design, 
It's got wireless functionality, it's got illuminated keys, and the build quality, it's, it's pretty good. I know the elitists out there will hate the TKL2 and they'll hate my opinion and they'll hate that I like this keyboard and they'll talk about what keyboard is better value and it's, it's not a brand name so it must be bad, etc, etc, etc. But remember, it's $40. $40. Let that sink in. Four zero dollars That's it. It's not that much money for a wireless mechanical keyboard. Let me know what you think of the Velocify TKL02 wireless keyboard in the comments down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys think about it. Personally, I think $40 for a wireless mechanical keyboard is pretty good value. If you want to grab one of these keyboards as well, there is a link in the description. Anytime you use those links, you basically help feed Big Cat and no one wants to see Big Cat go hungry. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And $40, I'm gonna say this again, $40 for a wireless mechanical keyboard. It's, it's, it's pretty good value, not gonna lie.